Good day everyone! This is Vivsky Diaz again and today is another video which I will be showing to you some of the branded bags collection um, that I have managed to collect or purchase over the years. Okay, so let's start with the first bag that I have here. And this is from Louis Vuitton and it's called favorites I have purchased this recently but this is not brand new I purchased it as a pre-love so this is the bag that I have purchased from carousel and just put some bubbles to keep the shape of the bag this was not actually been used many times as you can see there's still a cover it's covered with a plastic to keep the um, metal out from scratches. So this is my LV favorite in MM size. Then the next one is my Gucci Marmont size. I have purchased this as a pre-loved bag from Carousel as well in Singapore. But as you can see here, it's almost look like a brand new one. There are no scratches and I still can smell the brand new smell of the leather. Okay. And I can use this as a um, crossbody or I can put it on my shoulder as a shoulder bag. Then the next one is this Louis Vuitton. I think I have made a separate video about this when I have purchased this bag. If you wanted to uh, watch the video about this bag when I have reviewed this bag, please look into the link that I'll be putting on top of this video. Then the next one is my um, Chanel bag. This Chanel bag is also a pre-loved bag. So these are uh, some of the bags that I have purchased earlier uh, when I started working here in Singapore and have managed to um, save some money. Then I started to buy some luxury bags but I still cannot uh, buy the brand new one because they are very expensive so I tried to purchase a pre-loved bag as long as the condition is still okay so as you can see here the hardware is a bit bronzy because it was used many times by the first owner and then well I don't know how to open it okay so just press it and then uh, pull a bit and inside is like this with one zip pocket and one small pocket so this is my Chanel bag the name of this bag will be in the description as well okay so this is Chanel bag then the next one is my Louis Vuitton Never Full Bag in PM size. This is the smallest size of the uh, Never Full Bag. Uh, this is in monogram canvas. And this is a very memorable bag for me because this was purchased by my husband in Japan when he went for his uh, work training. So he was there for about almost two months. And when he went back home to Singapore, he purchased this bag for me at Louis Vuitton in Japan, in Tokyo. So, as you can see here, the color of the um, bag, especially the leather one, is already uh, oxidized and it is now brown, brownish color, so caramel brown. But the condition of this bag is wonderful it's still 100 percent very clean and there are no scratches or any tearing on the part of the leather 
because I really take good care of my branded bags especially. Okay, so the bag is very nice. Um, it is just small, so for me, I cannot put it on my shoulder. So I, what I usually do is I just put it on my uh, elbow or just hold it. Another bag that I have here is my crossbody uh, Louis Vuitton. I have purchased this from Carousel as second hand. Um, I have also a separate video about this. Um, if you're interested, I will link the uh, video below. So this bag was purchased in, I think in the USA. So this is Moset. The name of the bag is Moset. And I'm not sure which part of the U.S. this was purchased, but I know this is in the U.S. and this was purchased year 2001. So now it's year 2022, so it's 21 years old bag. And I must say, this bag is very beautiful. And the next one that I have here is my MS. I have this purchase from a uh, reputable seller. It, this is a secondhand or pre-love. But as you can see here, the condition of the bag is still very nice. Okay, and she also gave me the rodeo and the, uh, I'm not sure how you call this, is it a bando or I think it's a bundle okay and there's the rodeo and inside I have just put some uh, cloth to make the to maintain the shape of the bag okay and this is a very nice uh, bag and good deal as well so you can see here the uh, padlock or the lock of the bag still very shiny I cannot see any scratches at all and the uh, original seller or the original owner of the bag says that she used this about 10 times when she go for a dinner when she attended a dinner and when she went to shopping so as you can see this is still very nice and look at this you will see that there's still a uh, cover of the four uh, feet of the bag okay and i still can smell the leather it smells brand new so this is my ms pre-loved ms bag okay. next collection that i have here one of the uh, oldest uh, brand branded bag that I have uh, collected or owned is this Celine bag. Um, I have purchased this bag I think year 2004 and this was a pre-loved bag. So the original owner of the bag is a very rich woman here in Singapore. Um, she lives in a uh, landed property so when I went and purchased this bag we have met together uh, near her house and she gave this to me in a very very nice price so I have only purchased this bag for about um, $400 and it still looks brand new but I seldom use this because right now I carry a lot of things and if I cannot put it on my shoulder it's gonna be very difficult for me to carry uh, when I use my hand carry it with my hand or with my um, shoulder um, no elbow I should say so I only use this a uh, few times first ever branded bag coach this was 
the first uh, brand new branded bag that I have uh, owned this was purchased by a friend of mine who went to the US and she bought this for me with a good price so there are some um, scratches at the edge of the bag uh, due to multiple use but as you can see here this is still a very nice bag the leather is still very nice and soft and the smell I don't smell a uh, moldy smell but still very clean maybe it's because I really take good care of my bags well one of my favorite it's my Louis Vuitton uh, speedy bandolier I also have a separate video about this so if you're interested you can just look into the link that I will be putting on the description box so I've been using this so many times and this bag have visited a lot of countries in the world because I usually bring this when I travel so it went to Paris it went to Norway it went to um, Switzerland to Sweden and so on so this bag is my traveling companion as well next one is my Prada bag I only have few Prada collections and one of this is this bag um, I will be putting the description or the name of this bag in the description box and I've been using this for so many times rain or shine and I have here the straps that you can use as a crossbody or a shoulder bag and another product that I have is this uh, orange colored product that is uh, open and you can just close it with one button but with a big zip pocket inside which you can put a lot I've just put a, an inserts in order to keep the shape of the bag well okay so I'm not sure whether this is the uh, authenticity card yes this is the authenticity card it's called RAM or RAIM so the color is RAIM and this is Dino okay yeah I seldom use this bag it's because it's open and it's because there are no straps 